Hello everyone, welcome to We Live A Lot. Uh, today me and Heather are out on a fall camping trip. It's a beautiful day here in North Idaho. And today I wanted to bring you a quick review of this Campy Gear uh, two-in-one propane stove and heater. It actually is kind of a multi-function tool. Uh, it has a cooking surface. It actually has two cooking surfaces, which we're gonna talk about in just a second. Uh, but it also kind of functions as a heater. You close this top here and then the heat comes out from the side here. You see this isn't on very good. I'm going to take this off in a second. I'll show you how to attach it and everything. But uh, this is a really, really, really cool uh, little device here for, for taking camping. It's not really good for backpacking. As you can see with my hand here, I have a pretty big hand. It's, it's a pretty big device. But I think this is going to be a really versatile um, piece of gear to bring, uh, especially for fall camping. Uh, anytime that you need to have uh, a piece of equipment that puts out some heat. Uh, we got this primarily as more of a heater than a cooking surface, but we're going to put the cooking surface to the test here for you. Uh, you can cook on this top surface here, or you can remove this, and then you can see it has the burners here so you can cook on this surface. So if you want to boil water really quickly, um, you can quickly do that on this surface here. Um, whereas if you want to, um, you want a little bit more of a slow cook, you can cook on the top. Maybe you're cooking food or something and you want it to cook a little slower. You can put a pan up here as a surface, uh, but then you can close this up and then you have your, your heat output here. Uh, this this little guy puts out about 9,000 BTUs, uh, and, I'm, and from what I understand is it'll run on high max for about two hours uh, with a with a butane tank. Uh, so I got this butane tank here. This is uh, like almost an eight ounce tank that what I'm going to use today to to use it. Uh, what I'm going to do to test this is we're actually going to boil water on the top. We're going to boil water on the bottom, and then I'm just going to leave this on max output for um, as long as it takes to to run this can out this Coleman 7.75 um, ounce butane, butane tank. Um, one thing to know is that you can use propane. They do sell a separate uh, cord that you can get that, that goes out and, and actually connects to a propane tank. So if you want to use like the, the Coleman one gallon propane tanks um, or the, the little, um, the, the other Coleman propane tanks that they sell, you can use those as well. Uh, so this does, it is really versatile as you can use butane or you can use propane. So, so that's really cool. Uh, one thing to mention, uh, this is something that used, is to be used as a heater, uh, so it's probably worth mentioning that um, to make sure you're only using this in well-ventilated areas, it does put out a flame. Anytime you have a flame, there's always the, the chance of carbon monoxide, so you want to be really careful with that. If you are going to use this in an area that's less ventilated, make sure you have a CO meter. Uh, we're going to try to use this in the tent at some point when it gets a little bit colder this fall, and we'll probably do another video on that. But we'll make sure and have a CO meter in the tent with us because it'll, be, it'll have a little less ventilation. Usually in a tent, it's fine. Um, but we like to have that CO meter in there just in case. Uh, sets an a little alarm off if the CO levels get too high. So we know that we need to turn this off and, and make sure and ventilate the area that we're in. So if you're using this in your house, um, make sure that, that whatever area you're in, uh, whatever room you're in, you have either well ventilation or you have a CO meter in there so that you know if the CO levels are getting too high because that, that can be a big problem. So just be aware of the CO output. Um, make sure to not use this in really small enclosed spaces that don't have any ventilation. Um, and you can always read more about, about CO and C I, I'll, I'll put a CO meter in the description um, so you guys can check that out. I'll also put this in the description too so you guys want to go check out the price. It has some different colors and stuff uh, so you can go check all that out. Um, but so let's go ahead and uh, let's check this out. So I'm going to pull this off real quick so you can see and I'm going to pull this a little bit closer so you can kind of see the top here. So you see this has got this cooking surface. It's got the output here. Um, you don't have to worry about the air valve. Um, I, I read a little bit about the air valve. It says not to mess with it unless you're in like uh, like high elevations. It has something to do with really, really high elevations. So if, if you need to learn more about what, what to do with the air valve, go ahead and check it out. But it says by default just to leave it alone. Um, you got the underneath here. So there's the minimum and the max for turning up and down the, the propane. Um, and then down here is the, the actually I'm going to take this one out because this is an old one. We actually, my wife just used this for um, going to my son's paintball. Uh, for his birthday um, there was a bunch of moms that wanted to stay and just kind of check it out and what they did is they all just kind of sat around the table um, with this butane heater and put their hands on it because it was keeping them nice and warm so uh, but you can see here there's the where you put in the the butane um, so this so let's go ahead and actually while we have this right here go ahead and so here's our coleman butane tank uh, it does say not to to thread this upside down it has something to do with the liquid butane in there and it can it can kind of create a problem it's probably fine as long as after you twist it on that you uh, let it sit for a few minutes and let all that sort of dissipate but i'm going to go ahead and do as instructed and i'm going to put this on there while i have it right side up uh, it's a little, a little tricky to do that but you can hear that little bit of hiss that means it's connected there we go make sure we have this off all the way 
So there we go. So we'll let that dissipate for just a second here before we light it um, while we talk about it a little more. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, it's in there now, nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight before you, you turn it on. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get, I got my little um, biz gear uh, camping set here, uh, cooking set. And I'm going to put some water right on the surface here and we're going to time it. Um, and that's going to be kind of to, to determine how fast this thing can get uh, two cups of water up to a bowl. All right, so the way that this goes on uh, is you have this little pig right there. Let me point to it so you can see it. This little pig goes into this little hole back here. You want to put that in first. And then you push that back. And then you just squeeze these two right here. Put them into this hole right here. And then you just pull them out like that right there so the, you pull these out it sticks in there so there you go so now it's all attached so you can you know you can pick it up by this it's nice and safe uh it's on there you just make sure that those those pegs are inside of the hole there um and then you can take it's got a handle that you can attach as well so you just take the handle there's a couple of holes on the side here just put it in there and then put it in there and then you got a, a handle where you can actually conveniently kind of carry it and take it around with you so uh, it's got the coils on the top, which is nice. It helps kind of dissipate the heat a little bit from the, the top. Um, might get a little warm, so just be careful. Make sure and touch and feel that before you pick it up by the handle. Uh, it does come down kind of close to the coils, so you just want to make sure that that's not hot before you pick it up. So then you got, so the surface here, so this is for cooking. Uh, so if you open this up, um, let me find the tab there. So there's a little tab here so you can open it and close it right there. If you want to use this as a cooking surface, uh, you want to open this so the heat comes through and it'll it'll be used as you can use it as a cooking surface if you want to use this as a heater you close this and then the heat gets pushed out the sides and it's got the nice 360 degree here so you can actually get that heat out of the entire side so you can actually sit around at a table and everybody can kind of be warming their hands up um, from different directions which is really cool and it's something a little different when you're comparing it to uh, some of the heaters out there that only push air out of one side so it's got the nice 360. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and let's take this off now and then let's go ahead and see how quickly this here will boil some water. So the way you light it is pretty straightforward. Um, make sure that this has, okay, pretty straightforward. So that you just turn this on until you hear the hiss. Go. It doesn't have a push button start, which is a little bit of a bummer. I really like the ones that have the push button on there. Um, so you do have to have an external source to, to be able to light this. But you can see you can turn that flame up right there. You can turn the flame down. You can turn it off. It goes all the way up. We'll put this kind of on, on max here. Um, and I'm going to start the timer. So we're at 141. So I'm going to see how long this butane tank burns for the day. Um, so I'll probably just leave this heater on for the rest of the day. Uh, so it's putting out nice heat. It doesn't have the cage on it right now. So it is kind of unsafe. So if you have dogs or kids around, uh, make sure and be really careful when you have this cage off. But... Let's go ahead and get some water on. So I got my uh, GSI cup here. It's exactly two cups of water. So we're gonna pour that in the pan here, my biz gear pan. And I do have a lid for this, so we're gonna see. All right, so I'm gonna time this with my stopwatch here. It says that it should take a little over two minutes, uh, two minutes, 15 seconds, I think it says to boil the water. So let's go ahead and see how long this takes. we get the water on. That, I'm gonna hit start. Okay, let's get the lid on the water and we'll see how long this takes. Make sure that's up all the way. All right guys, as you can see, we're at about two minutes here. So I'm gonna check the water and see if we have any boiling yet. It's not boiling quite yet, it's bubbling. Um, but the two cups of water right now is still not quite boiling. I don't know if I have it up all the way, but we're at two minutes and 15 seconds and we're still not quite to a boil. So let's give it just another second. Okay guys, we're at about the 4.45, almost the five minute mark, and we finally got a little bit of boiling going on here. So um, it took almost five minutes uh, for this to boil, which is um, about twice as long as it said it was gonna take. So a little disappointed, um, but overall, not bad. You can see it's that lid's starting to come off there with the boil. Let's see it real quick here. See that boiling water, looks good. So yeah, about five minutes for that to boil, uh, not bad. Um, but where this thing really shines is, is, is putting out that heat around the side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. Uh, okay. So now we have this in uh, full heat mode. So I can feel that heat really coming out the side now. 
it's actually really really nice uh, have the top closed there as you can see uh, to make sure that the heat comes out once you get this started um, you want to get a stick or something um, if you're going to move this back and forth uh, just because it gets really really hot on the top there it's basically a cooking surface uh, so make sure never to touch this top part it gets super super hot but yeah this is uh it's actually really cold out right now it's probably about 50 degrees and this feels really really good on my hands uh, this this campy gear two-in-one propane cook stove and heater is fantastic we love it uh, we're going to be using this probably a lot for fall camping uh, any activities that we have going outside where it's going to be nice to keep the hands warm uh, just like my wife and paintball the other day so this is a great thing to add to your collection. Um, like I said, there's a link in the description. Make sure and check that out so you can see the different colors that there are. Uh, you, so you can check out more um, of the information on it, uh, see how big it is, how heavy it is, and all that stuff. And also what the current price is. It fluctuates a little bit on price. So make sure and go check all that out. Uh, thanks so much for checking out this review. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments. I'd be happy to answer anything that I can. And uh, remember, guys, to get out there. And instead of living a little, make sure you're living a lot, okay? Bye.